Hi, it's Jeff here. We're at uh, Mallard Lake Forest Preserve in DuPage County here in Illinois. And uh, I'm here to uh, go over and talk about what I have in, in my bag here, which is the new Sony ZV-E10 camera. But my bag also holds a nice stainless steel mug of, yes, Death Wish coffee. So it's chilled Death Wish coffee in here. So I'll be guaranteed to be awake during the filming of this video. In my uh, gray bag here, I had, uh, or I have, or had, two camera bags and just an introduction this is my sony zv1 camera and this is my sony zv10 camera bag okay and um, i'm recording this on my iphone 12 pro max so this will be a day of uh, three cameras, but we're mainly going to be talking about this camera here, and I'm going to be using the ZV-1 in my iPhone to uh, talk about this new Sony camera. So here's my uh, Sony ZV-1 camera that uh, I'm going to be using, and it's... Uh, little handheld mount it's uh, Wednesday 14 September 2022 it's uh, it's about 1230 in the afternoon we'll probably be out here videoing for the next hour or so talking about my new camera if you notice this is an Amazon basics camera bag and um, I've discovered that for me, these are really nice camera bags. Um, I got many of these things because uh, they're simple and they work. Okay, and inside, I've got uh, my items for my Sony ZV20. Okay, this is uh, cleaning cloths, okay. These are, in here is batteries and, and memory cards. And you can see in my bag here, there's the uh, Sony ZV-E10 camera. Here's a lens, here's a lens, and uh, here's some cables and stuff. And uh, I've got my handheld grip tripod for this camera here also. So let's set this up and uh, get this show on the road. We're going to start with the uh, camera with the lens that uh, Sony, or I don't know who calls the kit lens, but it's the lens that Sony sells with the camera. Okay, and if you notice, I actually got some filters on it, which we'll talk about. Okay. I've got a circular polarizing filter, and I've got an ND filter. No, not an ND, excuse me, a UV filter on this, and uh, which is going to be good for today. So here you can see the, uh, this is the Sony ZV-1, and this is the Sony ZV-10 camera, side by side, both on basically the same 
grip mount, which controls the cameras. Okay. And uh, you can see the screens here, I think are exactly the same size. I haven't taken out calipers and measured, measured them. And uh, you can see the uh, control buttons on the uh, ZV-10 or the E-10 and the control buttons on the ZV-1 um, are kind of similar. Okay, a little bit different layout. Okay. Some of the, uh, actually the one main difference that I like, the on-off button on the, uh, on the ZV-1 is here by this earmuff. And on the E10, they've got a nice big on-off switch here. But you can see they both have the, uh, the photo shutter. And this is the movie start and stop, movie start and stop. This knob basically accesses the menus in the camera. So now you can see why I'm using three cameras here. I'm using my iPhone to talk about the differences between these two cameras, but later on we'll be using the, the Sony ZV-1 and uh, we'll actually be filming video with the E10, okay? And up front here, we'll start with the grip. You can see this has got a much smaller grip and a much smaller battery in here. This has got a bigger grip and basically it holds a bigger battery in here. Okay. Now the obvious difference is this is the built-in lens on the uh, ZV-1 camera. And this is the lens that Sony sells with the uh, ZV-E10 camera. Okay. If you look, this says it's uh, a 1.8 to 2.8 lens. And yeah, this camera does really good in, in low light situations. And uh, this kit lens is a 3.5 to 5.6 or 16 millimeter to, to 50 millimeter lens. So, and you can say, see this one on the other camera, basically they say 9.4 to 25.7. This lens is fixed on the camera. It's, it's a good camera. It's a good general purpose vlogging camera. But uh, due to the fact that I can change the lenses on this guy, this guy can be quite the powerhouse. And... Uh, his personalities can change depending on his lens. Now I want to touch bases here for a second on the memory cards for uh, for the camera here. And uh, traditionally, I've been using this, the uh, this Extreme Pro. Notice they're both labeled Extreme Pro, but uh, this is a newer version they came out with which is faster and uh, this camera the e10 is capable of uh, 100 megabits per second right speed okay i don't remember what it is on this camera but this camera with the better lenses could make use of the higher right speed and uh, I believe the write speed, although it's not printed on here, on this one is only 90 megabits per second. And this one is, this newer faster one is 140 megabits per second. So it'll work better. It'll work better with the higher speeds in this camera, which we'll get into. Okay. I am probably going to switch now to, uh, videoing with this camera about this camera thing i wanted to show you is uh with 
both of these cameras on, you can see the different sizes in the lens. Okay, how the uh, ZV-1 actually has a smaller glass and the uh, E-10 has a bigger lens that, that comes with it. Okay, and yeah, we got a lot of aircraft overhead. So we're, we must be on O'Hare Airport's flight path right now. But yeah, you can see the uh, difference in the lens sizes. And these are basically the lenses that come with the cameras. So let's, uh, let's try this. This is all experimentation, people. But here you go. Hopefully I'm picking up the menus. Okay, here we go. You can see I'm recording in 4K. And uh, this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to switch the camera over to work at 30 pictures at a 100 megabit setting, which um, is almost double the standard bit rate of 60 megabytes per second. So yeah, you can see we're there. Okay, now this camera has got active stabilization and uh, the trick is when I turn off the stabilization or put it in standard mode, did you notice how the uh, the picture crops when it's in stabilization mode? And when we take it off of stabilization mode, the uh, image uncrops. So you can see some of the menu structure here pretty quick. So if you can see, this says we're recording at 100 megabits per second at 4K, 30 pictures per second. Okay. And uh, you get all the settings down here. And you can see the audio record levels. If we, uh, see we can use the hand grip here to turn it on. Okay. And uh, hopefully you can see the red box that comes on when we're recording around the, uh, around the frame here to positively indicate we're recording. And you can see the zoom function. Okay, it's Jeff here. Um, and we're still at Mallard Lake. I've uh, moved out to one of the little piers that uh, jet out into the water and uh, doing a little test. This is the uh, what they call the Sony kit lens with uh, with the filters. Okay, and uh, you can see we're zoomed out. 
and I just zoomed in. Okay, this is being handheld by the way. So you can see what it looks like with handheld with stabilization off. So I've turned on the active in-camera stabilization. We still have the uh, same kit lens. And you can see the image. Should be more stable even though this is all being handheld. Now I'm going to zoom in. And uh, let the camera do its thing. Of course you're getting the natural Chicagoland ambience <coughs> of aircraft overhead. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, take off the uh, polarizing, circular polarizing filter and see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Same camera, same lens, but without the uh, circular polarizing filter. So this will be an interesting test for me myself to see. We still have active image stabilization on. Now I'm a big fan of the filters, but this is a new camera, a new test. Okay, zoom out. So we can see if there's any big difference without the uh, without the filter. There you go. Time to change lenses. So I'm going to change from the uh, kit lens to the uh, Sigma F1.4 wide angle lens. So there you go, I've changed to the uh, Sigma F1.4 16mm wide angle lens and I'm going to put this one away now. I assume everybody knows the trick of uh, putting the lens hood on backwards while it's in storage. And uh, yes, I've got my circular polarizer and UV filter on. So here's the uh, wide angle lens with polarizing filter. Now I'm going to turn off active stabilization, which should widen the shot even further. So here you go. Here's the wide angle lens at its widest. With uh, active stabilization off. Again, we're just running handheld here. So you'll probably see my camera movements. Tripods is a test for another day, which we'll do. I'll have dedicated tripod mounts for each camera.
But here you go, here's a nice wide angle view. Now I'm letting the uh, camera do all the focusing. Hopefully it is. You know, these little monitors on the back are nice, but you can't tell with these little monitors if the image is really super focused or not. I do know these Sony cameras are pretty good at focusing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take off the uh, circular polarizing filter. Okay, polarizing filter is off. We're recording at 100 megapixels per second. And this is being all handheld without any image stabilization at all, so image stabilization is turned off. Okay, there you go. Okay. Back to recording on my Sony ZV-1 camera as I'm about to do a change on my Sony ZV-E10 camera, the lens change. Okay, we just saw the Sigma 16mm wide angle. Now I'm going to go to my workhorse. This lens I've used a lot. Okay, this is an 18 to 200. Okay, so it's a zoom lens or a telephoto. Okay, and uh, we're going to put this lens on the uh, E10 camera now. There you go. Lens has changed. I just want to wipe it down, get rid of any dust, and we'll shoot some video. Okay, here we go. I've got my uh, 18 to 200 millimeter lens on now. And we're all the way out at 18. And I'm going to zoom in to 200 here. Okay, there you go. I've zoomed in. So this is a really a reach out and grab some footage lens. 
Right now I have active stabilization off. Zooming back out. Zooming in. <clears throat> and, uh, just like I knew already, I normally use this lens on a tripod, but uh, zooming all the way out, you really need a tripod or some same stabilization. So let's, uh, let's turn on the stabilization and see what happens. So I've turned on image stabilization now, um, the in-camera one. Now, talking about stabilization in this camera, there is a gyroscope in this camera, and that gyroscope data is being recorded with, uh, with the image. And Sony has something called Catalyst Browse. Yeah, I think it's called Catalyst Browse. That'll use that gyroscope information to stabilize your image. Now I've heard that it works really good, but uh, we're just going through some basics now. So, if you can hear me over the jet aircraft, we're zoomed all the way out to uh, 200 millimeters now. Yes, we're still being handheld, so all the movement is, uh, is because of my hand. No tripods here yet, that's a test for another day. Okay, I just spied something interesting over here. Let's uh, see if I can zoom in on this guy here. Gotta assume he knows I'm here because I'm out on a pier in the middle of the water where just about anybody can see me. But he's kind of hiding there next to the grass. So this is, this is zoomed all the way in. And if I back out, there you go. So I'm back to the kit lens, or the uh, lens that Sony sells with this camera. We'll see how it does looking at some fish under the water.
Okay, here I am learning about my new ZV-E10 camera and uh, I've got my Sony ZV-1 recording side by side because when my ZV-E10 is in slow motion mode apparently right now it's not recording audio okay but it is recording at 120 frames per second so um, let's see what happens Here we go with another hat drop. Now I'm going to get it. and uh, do another drop again. Gonna get it? And drop the hat, see what happens. I have no idea what the camera is going to, how this footage is going to turn out, but it's recording, so we'll see. Okay, what I did was put my uh, cameras here into product showcase mode so it doesn't try to keep on shooting in my face, and when I stick something in front of the camera, It'll focus. It'll focus on what's in front of the camera, and then switch back to me. So I can show you what time it is. Hopefully you can see the day there, September 14th, September 14th, product showcase mode here. So you can see where I'm at. There you go, I'm in Mallard Lake. Here, Mallard Lake, and yeah, there's a lot of uh, planes flying overhead from O'Hare. But yeah, this is this is product showcase mode. So you can see it should switch back to me. It should switch to the image on the phone. So there you go, let's try this, so you can see where I'm at. I'm just, it's the end of the day, I've done my test, and I'm just recording my location and the time of day. So you can see it's 1.37 in the afternoon, Wednesday, September 14th. 37 Wednesday September 14th 
it's interesting getting to know my new camera and uh, I'm here with my iced best wish coffee good stuff this uh, stainless steel thermos is also great okay this is the small cup and I also have the big the big thermos that fills up the cup here so yeah what can be better I have some death wish I have a nice day I have my cameras to play with Yeah, there's a bee flying around if, if the camera's picking them up, but I know if you leave them alone, they leave you alone. And uh, if anything, I know he's probably more interested in what's in the cup here. So, here I am signing off for today. I should be able to close this. And yeah, see? No leaks when it's when it's closed. Yeah, stupid tricks when uh, when you're at the end of the day. So I'm going to wrap this up, go home, get a meal, and have a look at the video we just shot today. But before I do that, there you go. I'm going to get my iPhone in the uh, in the action here, videoing, so you can see the dual camera set up, the ZV-1 and the EV-10, and of course, Death Wish Coffee. So, my iPhone's happy, it's in the game, not forgotten. Have a nice day.